Divic communication and knowing they are with you. Divas communicate principally in geometry, color and form, if they want your attention, they will get it. People always say to me they want a sign from spirit. The divas as the holders of form, usually deliver before asked, but the problem with their signs is they are often so physical, people generally don't recognize them for what they are as paths of communication. Ascended masters most easily offer dreams, visions, and sounds, angels most easily offer feelings, fragrances, and fire. The master divas tap you on the shoulder, move things and affect physicality, especially nature. Strong signs of their presence are orbs or balls of colored light, unusual crackling in the fireplace, feathers, animals, falling leaves, placed flowers, four-leaf clovers, grass growing in circles, unusual clouds and early morning pictures in condensation on windows. The master divas can also rapidly alter body temperature when present or make you physically vibrate, and ultimately seeing all as one is the most powerful way to enhance divic communication. But all members of the Divic Kingdom love music, rhyme, poetry, dance and the night hours. Seek not a sign from the little ones of earth, instead let your physical life be one. Take each step with respect, thanks and learning and they will be with you. I am, the life in wind, the glow of fire, the wet in the waters, the embrace of the earth, I am, you are, the liquid crystal guidebook, page 38. Channel Devic Message, call forth and open yourself to the light of Adhara, let it activate your heart in my blinding aura, for I have come with the lesson of humility, a gift only held by a peaceful heart and truthful mind, breathe deep now and enter the center of your being, let your world roam free from the mental focuses that carry attachment, let go of physicality, trust and allow the universe to be your guide to all that you are, infinite child of violet embrace, Hear the will of united mind and filter it free through the endless heart. Our journey completes at the beginning, a place of sacred peace that many have only known in the body before birth. I am the seventh son of the seventh son. Know me, amethyst in healing. If you have crystals at home, there is a good chance that you have an amethyst crystal. She is a beautiful purple colored, quartz crystal, that varies in her depth, transparency, and intensity. In modern times, she has often been abused, cooked to change her color to burnt orange, and then sold as citrine, which often fetches a higher price. Amethyst is one of the most plentiful crystals on the earth, and as always when this occurs, her simple purpose with humanity as the stone of humility is an important one, we could certainly do with a dose of it as a race. She is able to teach this lesson mainly due to the presence of the red color ray that is often unnoticed, deep within this crystal. This allows amethyst the ability to ground, stabilize, and increase vitality, characteristics that are often overlooked due to the overall purple color which, for many people, defines it as a spiritual stone. However, when the purples and reds unite, amethyst like no other can allow the physical, human mind and body to embrace the spirit, its concepts and directives, at the forefront of which are found unity, equality, and oneness, the master teachers of humility. When the mind directs life without the true guidance of spirit, an illusionary self is created that is often known as the ego. Its purpose is whatever the mind sees as important at the time, limited to the physical worlds. One is quite simply functioning at 50%, pretending they are 100%, but hidden, buried deep inside is the truth, a feeling of nil purpose, isolation, and lowered self-esteem that eventually leads to anger and fear a person in desperate need of amethyst and the guidance of spirit. As the mind embraces the spiritual, amethyst delivers self-awareness, peace, security, and life direction which allows one to feel a part of the world again. Amethyst is a potent meditation stone, able to teach true breath control in altered states and induce visions, it can raise the kundalini and establish a good earth link, allowing memory of that which takes place. It should also be noted that this stone was known as a euthanasia stone in Atlantean times and can facilitate the release from physicality when asked to do so. This is a master stone of the ascended master Saint Germain who utilizes its frequency to anchor the purple flame of transmutation on the earth. 
At the physical level amethyst has been useful with tension and migraine headaches, insomnia and mind-based disorders such as autism, dyslexia, and epilepsy. Your healing journey today. If amethyst has come to you today, your spirit is asking for a pathway of creation in your physical life. The higher self is about to enter your world and help direct your choices. Look for signs everywhere and they will be there. To really receive the messages that amethyst has for you, the mind will have to be disciplined into a passive state, and you will have to step away from your mortal side that is concerned about money and other physical stuff. This is a time of transformation and transmutation, meaning that nothing is wasted, all is utilized, only changed from one state to another that is more useful to the totality of you. Truth with self and your world in the coming weeks will be a measure of the potential depth amethyst work with you. Be humble, seek balance, unity, and equality. She will fill the gaps with the blinding light of your individual spirit. Your path is within you, meditate, take time and breathe. Don't seek to change the world, change yourself and the world will change around you. Affirmation. I walk the eternal path of truth, the purple flame burns in my heart. And quat. Keywords to help in reading the cards. Humility, battle of mind and spirit, undisciplined thought, meditation, transformation, transmutation, life path, bad temper, anger, blood sugar levels, headaches, the higher self, Saint Germain, Lady Portia, Archangel Zadkiel. Color race, 33% indigo, 33% red, 33% violet and 1% black. Animal totem, goat. Essential oil, lavender.